What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we have another WIP Friday. <laughs> no, it's supposed to be on Thursday, but of course I forgot yesterday. So of course, without further ado, I got some good news and some new characters. Of course, my station is looking a bit, of course, bad because of course we do have the LEGO Daily Bugle figures updated. Yeah, you heard me, figures, because... I'm going to be honest with you guys. They built the Daily Beagle so good, which I'll actually show you how I put it. Let me try to. But yeah, they built such a good that I will not be updating it. So if you guys want a better Daily Bugle, if you guys want the window to be fixed, go watch Ash and Flash. Um, if you guys want, like, basically, the Daily Bugle is already perfect, okay? There are some flaws. There are some flaws. Is this turning into my why I love the Daily Bugle video? I don't know what it is, but... Anyway, um, the Daily Bugle is probably, like, the best set. It already came out perfect, so why would you need to update it? I would update the Spider Buggy because, one, this is tiny as hell, and when you see Lego Marvel Super Heroes, it's much bigger, much, much, much bigger, but, of course, this is a um, tinier, and, of course, this is supposed to stay in place, so maybe I'll do a couple changes, but I'm going to decide to do a WI, um, not WIP, uh, how to build a better Daily Bugle minifigure collection and some extras. So, of course, if you go be so kind, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so every single time you guys get updated for another video. And I got some big, big news for some WIP. So, yesterday night, I actually learned how to make flesh tone paint. Yeah, you heard me. So, what I did is, I think I have it. Do I have it on me? Do I? Do I, do I, do I? I think I do somewhere around here. Okay, right here. So I have this paint. I use acrylic paint, if you guys don't know. And that's how I make my Sonic Joker. It's really cool paint. It actually scratches off, which sucks. But it's cool because you it's not permanent paint. So, of course, use flesh paint. You might be saying, oh, how come you didn't use this flesh paint? It's too pink. As you guys can see kind of right there, it's way too pink. So what I decided to do was do a dash of this with a kind of a dash of white paint. And as you guys have been seeing, I've been using a lot of white paint because a lot of customs that I have use a lot of white paint. So I put a little bit of flesh paint down and then you keep putting white and white and white until you get around this color. So this is the paint color that I came up with. It's kind of a bit blocky because I kind of just put it on there. But as you guys can see, that's just, that's painted. If you guys don't know what that looked like, that was yellow. Um, but now it is painted. So look at it. Now it's perfect and beautiful. Of course, that is only on one custom. I did do it on my Hammerhead custom, I think, right? I think I haven't seen him since yesterday. Which, oh my god, that actually looks really good. So, yeah. Um, here's my Hammerhead. I know his head's too elongated. But that's the point. But anyway... That is what I learned last night. Also, I built two characters that were shown in the Loki TV show based on their comic book appearance. The kind of special characters. I actually have to do it on a figure. First of all, um, I think it's around here somewhere. Hold on. Let me check. Um, I'm going to do a bit check. This is how I find stuff. I shake it. And usually... Okay, here it is. So, I have, I have a... Um, hairpiece sorry but i have a hairpiece right here this is the old wanda hairpiece that i used for classic scarlet witch as you guys can see it looks good but it's it's not the best okay if you guys want to see what it originally looked like boom here it is i already had a place where i would put it this was my first attempt so i had to paint this whole pair piece in brown which i hate doing that do not do that it's kind of dumb when you do it not dumb but it's just it doesn't turn out because it's the hair chip so what I did is I did make a new sculpt that uses a permanent brown hairpiece, but I did sculpt it. And if you guys see right here, I ditched the robin legs, which you might be saying, huh? Why'd you ditch the robin legs? Because I have perfectly good pink legs with dark red boots, not red boots, but pink legs with dark red boots. So it looks actually really good. Like, I'm very happy of how the legs turn out. Oh, of course, they're Luna will love good from Series 2. There's those weird shoes. They're supposed to be purple with dark red boots, but of course, um, no, they're not. So, 
Another custom that I have been working on is, of course, we'll save the cooler one for last. I might give him a little bit more updates, but of course, I have built a version 2 of Young Loki, because I've seen the TV show. So what I did is I took the Mike Wheeler head and painted it the uh, neck green, because he does have, like, kind of a ski thing in the, me th uh, in the um, comics. I did take a kind of a, just a, just a helmet. You guys know what it looks like, right? With the visor and stuff. If you guys don't know, well, here. Sorry, I had to walk across my room. But here it is. Here's the helmet. It's basically this helmet, and you guys might be wondering, why did you use a helmet? Because in the comic books, if you don't know, young Loki doesn't have hair whatsoever. So, of course, while I was trying to remove the head, the hairpiece got stuck on. So, of course, that hairpiece that I made was damaged, which I really didn't care. I wasn't going to use it for another custom. I wasted a piece, though. But that sucks anyway, if you guys are wondering what character it is, it's Jigsaw, so, yeah, that's cool. Um, that's my first attempt at making scars. I'm trying to learn how to make scars, but I'm trying to learn how to mix paints together to create skin tone and stuff, because it's, it's really hard. But now I'm very happy, because now I can do skirts, I can now do sleeves, so, if you guys see on Sandman... This will be in my how, uh, how to Build a Better Daily Beagle, but you guys have seen them already. So, as you guys can see, I have sleeves. So now I can do this on my own. So, it has a lot of opportunities, but I still need to learn how to make medium flesh, which is basically the color of Cho Chang's head. And, um, I'm trying to look at the figure that I'm trying to make. Um, of course, I find not. Oh, actually, um, the color of her head, which she is not going to be in it. I completely scrapped this figure for the How to Build a Better. This is Amber Grant. I have a completely different version. If you guys want to see it, here it is right now. So yeah, that's what she looks like. Of course, it's completely different, as you guys can see. Look it up. Look up Amber Grant, and you'll be like, oh my god, Lego f messed up so bad. But I kind of like this version, but I think this hands were messed up. I give you a hint, Miss Marvel. But yeah, so in the comic books. Back on Young Loki, um, he actually uses kind of a ski mask. He doesn't have any hair. So I took this helmet, painted the whole thing dark green. You guys might be wondering, how did I come up with the color? Sorry about that. I had to pause the camera because, of course, my nose is all stuffy or something. I don't know why. But I use uh, light green with black paint. If you guys don't know, if you take a, a light kind of green thing with black paint, of course, it turns out to be a good color. So if I want to make, um, if I have light gray and I want to make dark gray, put a little bit of black in there and it makes it dark. So that's a cool trick. Um, and then I also used this paint, which this is car paint. This is actually paint that I don't use that much. I only use it when I make silver characters. You guys might be wondering, what are silver characters? Silver characters are basically characters with silver stuff on top of them. So if I wanted to paint these arms gold, I would use gold. I don't use these that much because acrylic paint is good. Because acrylic paint, if I spill it on a carpet, it's bad. That's bad. But it's not permanent. Okay? You can get it kind of... It'll still be there in the cracks, but... It, like, if I spill a whole bunch of acrylic paint right here, it's not the end of the world. Like, I can literally just get a sponge and, like, sit there for a while... This is car paint. This car paint is permanent. This is permanent paint. And this is, if I spill this on the counter, yes, you can get it off. But if you have, like, I don't even know. If you spill this on carpet, like, you're in a, like, you're in a death sentence. Like, you would be having, like, the worst time. So, I always use this carefully. I usually put it on a plate. So, and I'm very careful when I paint it's very hard and it doesn't turn out that nice. That's why I don't put that much detail and thought. Like, all the characters I usually do it with, I don't put black lines over it or something like that. Because if you put multiple, it starts to get chunky. Chunky monkey. It starts to get a bit chunky. Um, of course, with a toothpick. Oops, sorry. Um, also, the down part about this car paint is a bit fun fact for uh, the younger audience. If you put a paintbrush, a normal paintbrush, these are skinny paintbrushes, so they go into like, you can make like um, lines and, and stuff like detail and stuff. If you put it in this paint, I won't because I really don't. You can't just wash it off with water. You have to wash it off with a, a special type of chemical. 
Um, so, I don't know what it's called. I always get reminded what it's called, but I don't know what it's called. But you have to use that to get it off. Toothpicks are fine, because if it's like a rare toothpick, you don't want that toothpick to go anywhere. Toothpicks are like um, disposable. If you use like disposable, but they're, they're usually not skinny. Of course, I learned that kind of the hard way, because when you run out, it, it sucks, because then you have to paint with toothpicks. So I've been painting gold customs with toothpicks, but it's okay. More is on the way. Um, but yeah, so the whole helmet... I sculpted it, and then I sculpted the band, and then I sculpted the front, and then the side ear pieces. I didn't put the little lines, because this is just trying to make an accurate custom, okay, guys? So, yeah. Then I used a torso from the city house. I tried to make a symbol. The first time I did this was perfect, and then the second time, then I had to do it on dark green. So then I also had to paint a white hoodie. I had to use the arms. Are those? Oh, those are black arms. I think they were supposed to be dark green. Oh well, <laughs> oh well, I think these are supposed to be dark green, but I don't really care. Um, but yeah, these, and then this is a white cloth. So, uh, once again, doing something new, I painted a white cloth green with acrylic paint. Feels really rough, but it's, it's okay. A little bit of this is still wet, so yeah, we'll just leave them aside. So, I only made two customs so far with uh, gold and silver paint. I don't use these paints that much. That's why if you get paints, and you're a little kid and you want to do like custom um, version of Green Goblin, make him like have arms, don't get this type of paint. You get acrylic paint because acrylic paint, if you want, you scratch it off and boom, it's done. The figure is not harm whatsoever. I did do a tiny piece though. Of course, I am still sculpting because the hammer is coming off. But you guys see right there, a throg. I am sculpting a throg. Yes, the figure is sculpted horribly. I know that, that the little gray that you see right there, that's sculpting because the hammer is trying to pop off. Which is it now popping off? No, it's not. Okay. So I have to paint that silver. So once again, the helmets. The front right here, I'm going to paint it. I actually, um, it was so hard to show. Um, but yeah, I painted a uh, little gray one. But of course, his eyes kind of cool i didn't put the white dots i hate doing eyes that's why i don't do painted heads i do if it's i hate doing that anyway here's a robot let's put that away for now so now that is kind of it for the wip now i tried to do a whole bunch of other stuff that i could do with flesh paint tell me in the comments below what character should i use they use flesh stuff don't do anything that is shirtless because of course it is very i have not learned how to um paint muscle details so i've not learned how to paint muscle details so of course later today or probably tomorrow probably today though i will show you guys all my characters from the new lego daily bugle set so if you guys want to go tune in for that and tune in for that i do have a whole bunch of really cool figures i'll actually show you guys with a little one second sneak peek so yeah. i wasn't kidding one second i really want this to be low so there might be one day where i show you parts that i scrapped and stuff so for the Vision Classic head, that's a scrap piece. And a whole bunch of other stuff. I do have a custom how to build a better Venom. Um, you'll actually see that in the Marvel collections. Um, but you might, uh, you guys will see what I'll do with that. But yeah, I have learned a whole bunch of other stuff. Also, very not proud of it, how I said. But in the live stream, you guys did say how I was going to say this for a daily vehicle. But I guess I'll show you guys now. Here's the classic Spider-Man from the 1966 TV show, just painted torso. Not anything on the back, I didn't really want to paint anything on the back. So there's character you guys asked for for five likes, which that's what you guys get. You guys have five likes. So yeah, so far, character's going good. We will probably do, I will probably do some other customs, like updating my spawn custom. I am working on him. Some other customs too, so of course you guys did enjoy this video please give it a like it's right below um, this video um hit the red button turn it gray please because of course i want um some likes so yeah if you guys liked it please comment subscribe and notification i'll see you guys later peace out and bye